Did you know that the Nazca Lines, a collection of colossal geoglyphs in the Peruvian desert, sprawl across a space close to a thousand square kilometers? They're so meticulously designed that their true grandeur is only fully comprehensible from an aerial perspective. These figures, imprinted on the desert terrain, are far from ordinary sketches. They serve as a captivating representation of the ancient world, their elaborate design and massive dimensions triggering a plethora of queries for the contemporary observer. What messages were their creators attempting to convey? What motivated them to choose such an expansive canvas for their art? The Nazca Lines are much more than just lines in the sand. They are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They stand as a tribute to the inventiveness and enigma of a long-lost civilization. As we commence this exploration, we aim to the mysteries carefully etched into the grains of time. This journey will take us through the intricate network of lines and figures, each bearing a tale of its own. We'll delve into the theories surrounding their purpose, ceremonial, astronomical, or simply a form of ancient art. We'll also investigate the techniques employed by the Nazca people in creating these geoglyphs. So, let's board our virtual aircraft and take flight over these extensive enigmatic lines and dive deep into their fascinating history. The purpose of the Nazca lines has been a subject of debate for decades and a variety of theories have been proposed. Ah, the mysterious Nazca lines, these enormous geoglyphs etched into the desert sands of southern Peru, have baffled scientists, archaeologists, and curious minds alike for years. But what were they for? Why did the ancient Nazca culture go to such lengths to create them? Let's dive into some of the theories. One of the earliest and most enduring theories is that the Nazca lines served as an astronomical calendar. This idea suggests that the lines were created to track the sun, moon, and stars, helping the Nazca people predict seasons and significant celestial events. By knowing when the rains would come, for example, they could plan their agricultural activities accordingly. This theory aligns with the Nazca's known expertise in water management and agriculture. Then there's the religious ritual theory. This posits that the lines were part of religious ceremonies, with the figures representing deities or supernatural beings. The Nazca people could have walked along these lines during rituals, perhaps to seek favor or communicate with these higher powers. This theory correlates with the known religious practices of the Nazca culture. Another fascinating theory is the idea of the lines as a communication method. Some suggest the lines were a way for the Nazca to send messages to their gods. Others proposed that the figures were intended to be seen by beings in the sky, not necessarily gods, but potentially other tribes or cultures. This theory is a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the Nazca people. And of course, we can't overlook the extraterrestrial theory. Some believe that the lines were created by or for beings from other planets. The sheer size and complexity of the geoglyphs, visible only from high above, fuel this theory. And while it's a less accepted theory among academics, it certainly adds a dash of intrigue and excitement to the Nazca Lines mystery. There are countless other theories, each with its own merits and weaknesses. Some suggest the lines were part of a giant map or navigational tool, while others propose they were used in water rituals given the arid environment of the Nazca Desert. Some even suggest that the lines were a form of early art or storytelling, a way for the Nazca to record their history and beliefs. Regardless of the theory you find most compelling, one thing is clear. The Nazca lines are a remarkable testament to the abilities and ambitions of the Nazca people. They represent a deep desire to understand and interact with the world, a desire that transcends time and continues to captivate us today. While we may never know the true purpose of these enigmatic lines, the theories surrounding them only add to their allure. After all, isn't it the mystery that keeps us coming back, eager to uncover the secrets of our past? The Nazca lines were created by the Nazca culture, 
an ancient civilization that thrived in the arid Peruvian desert from 100 BC to 800 AD. The Nazca were an industrious people, harnessing the harsh desert environment with a complex system of underground aqueducts known as puquios. These ingenious constructions ensured a steady supply of water, enabling the Nazca to cultivate crops and support their growing society. The Nazca were deeply religious, their beliefs woven into the fabric of their daily life. They worshipped nature, seeing deities in the sun, the moon and the earth itself. This reverence for the natural world is reflected in the Nazca lines, many of which depict animals such as the monkey, the hummingbird and the spider. Some scholars suggest that these geoglyphs were created as offerings to the gods in hopes of receiving blessings such as rain or good harvests. Art was another cornerstone of the Nazca culture. They were skilled potters and weavers, creating intricate designs on their pottery and textiles. The same artistic flair can be seen in the Nazca lines. Despite their massive scale, the lines are remarkably precise, demonstrating the Nazca's keen eye for detail and their mastery of large-scale composition. Interestingly, the Nazca culture did not have a written language as far as we know. Instead, they communicated through these artworks, expressing their beliefs, hopes and fears in a language of lines and shapes that still captivates us today. The Nazca were also skilled in the field of cranial surgery, a testament to their advanced understanding of the human body. They performed successful trepanations, operations that involved removing a piece of the skull to treat health problems or injuries. The Nazca culture eventually declined, likely due to environmental changes and overpopulation. Today, all that remains of this once vibrant civilization are their stunning artworks, their advanced aqueducts, and of course, the enigmatic Nazca lines. The Nazca were a fascinating culture, their legacy etched into the landscape in the form of these beautiful geoglyphs. Today, the Nazca lines continue to fascinate and draw visitors from around the world. These ancient marvels, etched into the barren desert landscape, continue to be a source of wonder and intrigue, a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of the Nazca culture. The best way to fully appreciate the sheer scale and complexity of these geoglyphs is from the sky. Aerial tours offer a bird's eye view of these massive designs, allowing you to take in the stunning intricacy of the lines and figures. The sight of the hummingbird, spider and monkey, among others, sprawling across the desert floor is truly awe-inspiring. But the experience isn't just about observing the lines from above. You can also embark on guided tours that take you closer to the lines, offering a ground-level perspective. Here, you can marvel at the precision and detail of the lines and figures etched into the earth thousands of years ago. Preserving this unique archaeological site is a priority. The Nazca Lines are a UNESCO World Heritage Site, a designation that underscores their global cultural significance and ensures their protection. Conservation efforts are ongoing, involving both local communities and international organizations. These efforts include restricting access to certain areas to prevent damage, monitoring the site to guard against illegal activities, and promoting responsible tourism. The goal is to ensure that the Nazca lines continue to captivate and inspire future generations. The Nazca lines are more than just a tourist attraction. They're a living testament to a bygone era, a window into an ancient culture that continues to mystify us. They're a reminder of humanity's enduring desire to leave a mark, to communicate with the cosmos, to understand and be understood. So, whether you're an adventure seeker or a history enthusiast, the Nazca Lines offer a unique experience that's sure to captivate your imagination. From their creation by an ancient culture to the myriad theories about their purpose, the Nazca Lines are a testament to human creativity and the enduring allure of mystery. As we wrap up this adventure, it's important to reflect on the incredible journey we've taken. We've soared high above the arid plains of Peru, gazing down at the massive geoglyphs etched into the earth, 
by the ancient Nazca culture. These lines, some stretching over nine miles long and others forming intricate depictions of animals and plants, are a testament to the ingenuity and artistic prowess of this long-lost civilization. We've explored the fascinating theories about the purpose of these lines. Were they a complex calendar system aligning with celestial bodies to track the passage of time? Or perhaps they were markers on a vast spiritual map guiding the Nazca people in their rituals and beliefs. Some have even suggested they were created as messages to the gods or even extraterrestrial beings. While we may never know the true purpose of these lines, their mystery only adds to their allure. We've delved into the Nazca culture, a civilization that thrived in this harsh desert environment over a thousand years ago through their pottery, textiles, and of course, their remarkable geoglyphs, they left an enduring legacy that continues to captivate us today. Despite the challenges of their environment, they created a rich and complex society that still holds many secrets. In our exploration today, we've only scratched the surface of the enigmatic Nazca lines. These vast drawings, invisible from the ground yet strikingly clear from the air, continue to baffle and astound scholars, archaeologists, and adventurers like us. As we've seen, they stand as a testament to the creativity, resilience, and spiritual depth of the ancient Nazca people. While the true purpose of the Nazca lines may remain a mystery, their ability to captivate and intrigue us remains undiminished, a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown.